the elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. For I was overjoyed when brothers came and testified to your truth, that is, how you are walking in truth. I have no greater joy than this, to hear of my children walking in the truth. Beloved, you are acting faithfully in whatever you accomplish for the brothers and sisters, and especially when they are strangers. And they have testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on their way in a manner worthy of God. For they went out for the sake of the name, accepting nothing from the Gentiles. Therefore we ought to support such people, so that we may prove to be fellow workers with the truth. I wrote something to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to be first among them, does not accept what we say. For this reason, if I come, I will call attention to his deeds which he does, unjustly accusing us with malicious words, and not satisfied with this, he himself does not receive the brothers either, and he forbids those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. The one who does what is good is of God, the one who does what is evil has not seen God. Demetrius has received a good testimony from everyone, and from the truth itself, and we testify too, and you know that our testimony is true. I had many things to write to you, but I do not want to write to you with pen and ink. But I hope to see you shortly, and we will speak face to face. 15. Peace be to you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. 